Mmm, this coffee tastes great. Oh hey, welcome. By the way, it's coffee time. So in this episode, I thought to walk you guys through a couple of the motivations that I have for creating all these Udemy courses. Some of you guys ask me, hey, why on earth do you go through all those trouble to do all these videos making a very small amount of money, right? So, well, first of all, money is not really the motivation here. Because I have a day job and that's going on well, I take some extra time in the evenings or of my weekend to try to create these courses, not just for monetary purpose, but also to create this positive learning environment. As some of you guys know, I've been in school for many years. Is 100% a smooth ride? Of course not. Not even close. I would say probably 95% of the time, the professors and teachers are really just to fulfill the teaching responsibility and really just to use classes and courses to get that tenure. I've done a four-year undergrad, two masters, and I've stayed in a PhD program for about two years. So I can count on one hand how many professors truly want to teach and they put an actual brain behind it out of this entire time frame. Well, I don't want to speak for other people because everybody's agenda is different, everybody has different motivation, but in terms for myself, when I was a student, especially as an international student, quite challenging to come here to cross that language barrier and to learn the things that I actually want to learn. So that is one real motivation, which is to help out people that were in my shoes a couple of years ago. Because machine learning is very hands-on. It requires a lot of experience. It's not something that you can just put a stamp on it and use a couple of the exams to prove that the student is skilled. It really is a collaborative environment and it really requires you to touch the code and to review each other's code for you to get above that learning curve. So in regards to that, a lot of these topics, specifically fundamentals in neural network, fundamentals in machine learning, are both created for that purpose, which is to not only give you the lectures and the foundation materials and the terminologies, but also to give you the hands-on experience. And in addition, I set up channels for each of these course for the registered students to contact me so that they can gain some hands-on experience. So that is the one big motivation for me, which is to help other people who are in my shoes. The second motivation is really about personal passion. Now, I can teach you math, right? I can teach you coding. We can do a code walkthrough, you know. These things are hands-on. As long as you're willing to put down the time, you'll be able to move forward to some extent. But passion. Passion, I cannot give you that. I cannot teach you passion. I cannot engineer your passion. Your passion is born with you. That inspiration of wanting to figure things out, that curiosity is coming from the students. So I'm fortunate that throughout my career, I've met a group of wonderful people that they're very interested in these types of topics. And it's really great to share with them these knowledge. And the second motivation to create all these courses specifically fundamental in neural networks as well as fundamental in machine learning are both created to serve that purpose which is to share that passion about myself and the thought process of what i've gone through when i was learning these materials so these courses is really a combination of what that environment looked like in my head and it is a great resources to put together in a documented way to share with all of you guys. So that is the second motivation. The third motivation is really to serve as a company of the current students that I'm teaching. So I'm teaching from school, I'm also teaching outside independently, and both of these areas I've met tons of students who come to me really eager to learn but they don't have the right sources. You type up Google, there's like a list of 50 documents that you can go through and they just get lost and the documents are completely intertwined and they don't really have the resources to get started right away and to move into their first data science project efficiently. So these resources are put together in an organic way such that students, as long as they're passionate about it and they're curious about topics, they're able to get themselves into the material and get a start right away. So that is one big thing I want to say about all these Udemy courses that I posted. It's not just walk through pages or slides of dictionary. It's not just walk through lecture notes. It's also about getting you started on your first data science project that you're really passionate about. And then the last thing I wanna say is really about 
domain knowledge. Me personally, I'm involved with finance, I'm involved with healthcare, so these two fields, I have a little story to tell, but outside of these fields, unfortunately, that's probably outside of my area of expertise. Uh, personally, I'm trying to get into real estate, so hopefully after a couple of years of learning experience, I can maybe say a few words about that as well, but for now, I'm still a beginner in that field. But in terms of actual teachable content, I think finance and healthcare are definitely something that's on my list, which is why on my Udemy profile, I also posted intro to FinTech using R, and then I will soon be posting another course for fundamental topics in finance as well as money management. So these are a little bit highlighted and a little bit focused in a particular field, in a particular set of topic, in a particular set of domain, and hopefully it's giving you the concentrated material to show you how machine learning, which can be a general idea, is used in that one domain. So the punchline here is, hey, finance is interesting. I have been in finance. Now I'm in machine learning and I'm a curious person. I'm passionate about putting things together. Why don't we give it a shot, right? So really it's a combination of my technical skills applied in a certain domain. And when you are looking at these courses, such as Intro to FinTech and this new finance course that I'm about to post, it's really about using these courses as a lens to see through what's inside of my head. And I'm really excited to share all of that with you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit of a promotional base, but on a high level, I still think that this motivation of learning is worth your time. Even if you're not taking my course, I still recommend you guys to go online and try out different courses and find that course that you like. So hope this video is inspiration for you and I'll see you in the next video.